I think I can vouch for everyone and say that it's weirdly exciting just dressing slightly in normal clothes just to go to the shops, just to go shopping. Like, does anyone kind of relate? Because I definitely do. I mean, actually, that's a lie. Max has been pretty much the only one that has been like dressing up nicely. And I've literally been looking like a homeless person for the past like couple of weeks every time I've gone to the shops. So I can't vouch for that. But today I just wanted to look slightly more presentable and put some non i mean this is still isn't non-gym because this is a ride away still but some slightly less looking gym clothes on if that makes sense so but we're gonna go to the shops because it's my birthday tomorrow we're gonna get some few little bits tomorrow because i've got an off meal plan so just want to stock up on them and then that's pretty much it for today i did want to really quickly show you the package that i literally just got through the door from protein so the stick is a little bit rubbish there protein pick a mix from the uk if you're an og follower you'll know i posted this ages ago but glazed donut skinny syrup flavor it's so yummy it's really really sweet so if you don't have much of a sweet tooth then i would say this isn't for you but like i really like my coffee like really 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 sweet so this is like my fave thing ever i bought this because i haven't actually tried like a 3d drink and loads of people have said that the 3d purple one is probably the best flavor so i wanted to try that and then my friend m dunk will she doesn't know it, but she's the bad influence here. I've been seeing on her story these mango ones for absolutely weeks now. And I just went on Protein Pick and Mix and they have like all fully stocked flavors. So I wanted to see what these tasted like. They're literally just like low calorie sweets. So I think it's like is 117 calories. So that's four pieces. So I thought, why not give it a go? Like randomly sometimes on my off meal plan, maybe I can have like a a few but i just wanted to try these pretty much what got them for max if i'm honest because every time i want something that i can't have i usually just get it for max do you know what i'm saying <laughs> but we're just about to go to the shops it's been easter so today it is the 14th of april and it was it's just been easter weekend so what me and max always do after like a holiday's been like either christmas or easter or something like that obviously there's loads of chocolate left over that's always gonna be on sale. So what we do is we go to the shops the day after the holidays. Most of it is usually on sale, like completely on sale. So I'm gonna go to the shops today and get some discounted Easter eggs. So I will show you what we get. Also, I don't know how we've done it, but Max has got a brand new car. Well, not brand new, but like a new car. So we had a, he had a BMW and now he's got a, oh, th this is the reason he got this car, so just because it makes that sound. A few moments later. Okay, so we just got a pack from shop number three. So we went to Tesco's to get some brioche for my breakfast tomorrow because obviously, like I said, I was having my cheat meal. Instead of having refeeds, I'm gonna have cheat meal tomorrow and use the calories for something else that what I usually usually have. So I usually have obviously bagels, um, extra potato, cereal, all that type of thing, but I'm gonna have an actual cheat meal tomorrow. So we went to get brioche from Tesco's but Tesco's had all the goods in terms of like Easter eggs and stuff. So went a bit crazy. I got myself an Easter egg again, another Easter egg, which I don't know why I got because I can't even eat it anyway. I have a little bit tomorrow, but I can't even have it anyway, but I'm gonna show you what we got because it's a lot. So this is what we got and it was all discounted. So this was only two pounds and these are usually like, I think like four pounds. So this is like encrusted with Ferrero Rocher and it looks so damn good. These were 25p each. <laughs> that was a pound. This was 15p. This was 50p, 50p, 12p each, 22p I wanna say. And then that was 50p. Like they, everything was just like so cheap. So I was like, why not? So if you wanna get your eggs, always get your Easter eggs at discounted price, just the day after. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Happy birthday. Are you gonna sing me happy birthday? Not right now. <laughs> Max is just about to make me some French toast. So we got brioche. 
We've got Biscoff spread. We've got Maltese spread. And we've got maple syrup going on. So... You've got the mix made up. Yeah, the mix made up. And then we've got like loads of little goodies down here that he's going to input as well. But I am going to put it into my fitness pal. So just so I can kind of at least kind of track some sort of something. Max doesn't agree with this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, but he's going to make this for me. So I'm going to kind of weigh this out and then have French toast. Max. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing a little dance whilst making me French toast. <laughs> Listen to the song. And look who's just arrived right on time. Oh, hi. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Wait, two seconds. I want a full on birthday song from this guy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phoebe. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, I can't even come near you. Distance hug. Big hugs. Big hugs. Big, big, big hugs. Oh. 1995, Bonnie's baby of Word. Yes. <laughs> and 2019, I be. What is it? IFBB. I IFBB. IFBB. There you go. World IFBB champion. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my God. This looks insane. Oh! Fuck, this looks so good. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bill. I've literally been waiting so long to have this because I've been watching you have this for so long. For the first time. First in... time ever. Oh my god. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so yummy. Stuffed French toast with Biscoff. Let's eat it. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good! Oh my god. I approve this message. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh, look at this! Oh, Thanks, baby. This is probably one of the most accurate birthday cards I have ever got in my life. Because currently, this is me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bibby. Love you loads. And thank you for all of this. I'm loving all of this. He knows I love surprises. I'm literally just sat here. I'm by myself right now because Max has just gone to get the very, very large pizza that we've just ordered. But I'm sat here, like almost like, because Adam has literally just sent me, one, he's just sent me $100, <laughs> like out of the blue. And the little message that he put on my PayPal reads, Happy birthday, go and get dinner with Max on me. You're a lucky person, Phoebe. Anyone who knows you is lucky and blessed. Ah, oh, I'm gonna cry. And then he just did a little post on Instagram. And I'm literally just sat here like surrounded by balloons and a little banner, like, like so many people have been posting on Instagram and everything like that and like seeing all the memories and stuff. It's been really, really nice because like, I don't know, I felt really, really down yesterday because one, we're in quarantine and it's a bit like, different like last year this time last year i know i was in prep so it wasn't like i went out and did loads of stuff and like saw all of my friends and stuff but i still went for breakfast with my sister and my dad and then me and max went to the cinema in the evening and like it was really nice and like obviously today i usually go for quiet birthdays and stuff because i'm usually on prep but it's just a very different feeling and i don't know i felt really down about it last night but now everyone tagging me in loads of stuff obviously max doing this and then my dad coming around this morning and like i don't know i just feel really really special and it's just been really really nice it's nice to feel special and like I'm really, I'm just grateful for everyone kind of in my life and anyone that said happy birthday or anything like that, thank you so much. It really means the world. So thank you so much. It honestly, like, so sweet. He's got the curse, he's got the curse. Extra, extra large. Yes. 
and we got the goods. Thanks, baby. <laughs> What I felt like this morning, and I felt so good and happy and positive and look so damn cute. To what I feel like right now. Oh my God, the weather. It's the weather. I honestly feel like it's the weather. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I literally just had a pre-workout as well, like half an hour ago and it hasn't kicked in whatsoever. But the weather today, yesterday's weather was really, really nice and Today, the weather is very, very gray. So I really get affected by the weather. Like when it's so sunny and bright, I'm literally like buzzing, feel really productive, get up early, all that type of thing. And then as soon as it goes like gloomy, I go like, I can't be able to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Leave me alone type thing. I don't know why I feel like that. Comment down below if you kind of get the same feelings, if you kind of like let the weather dictate how you feel sometimes, because that's definitely me. But I'm just about to go and train legs, um, which is gonna be very difficult because like, I haven't been enjoying training legs at Max's mom and dad's house. Um, I don't know why. I just haven't been getting good connections my muscle connections like i just can't be bothered every time it's leg down like i can't be bothered i love training arms i love training shoulders i love training back as soon as it gets to legs i'm like i don't want to do this sometimes people just have their days where they just there's particular le like exercises um they did on workouts that they don't enjoy that's definitely legs for me at the moment but i need to literally get going because i have a phone call with adam today so we're gonna kind of go through everything today at like what's going forwards and stuff because i'm not gonna lie we have been aiming towards the mile high which is in denver which is the end of may which currently at the moment is still going ahead but i feel like that will change because well at the moment the uk are now extending their lockdown for another three weeks and obviously i know at the moment still it's like, what's the day today? It's the 16th of April, day after my birthday, as you can see, my whole birthday sign up there. So the day after my birthday and the 30th of April is when this borders are supposed to open for the US, but I feel it's already been extended. I feel like it's gonna extend again. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to America for then. And also I just don't think the show's gonna go ahead. So we were working towards that, but now I think we, he just said like, look, let's just discuss how we feel. I think a lot of people are pushing their shows back now till like August, which is mad because uh, it's just difficult because it's just, it's just mentally difficult. So I was in such a good rhythm of like moving forwards and like getting to where I wanted to be. Now it's been stopped. It's like, oh, it's frustrating, but it's obviously not the end of the world. So he just wants to kind of talk about things and be like, look, what do you think? Here's my opinion let's kind of brainstorm type thing. But that's what we're at the moment. Last night was really yummy. It was so good having so much food. We actually, I showed you we had like a massive pizza. We only got one pizza for some reason, but literally like two hours later that did not last very long at all. We've got cheesy garlic bread, like a big massive cookie. And then like, what else do we get? We got chicken wings and like tater, tater tots, but like we call them potato tots. Tater tots, tato tots. I don't know how you say it. I know Americans say tater tots, I think, and we say tater tots or potato tots or whatever they're called. So <laughs> I know everyone's gonna be laughing at me at home being like, that's not how you say it, you. But anyway, so we had that and I wanna put this kind of food to good use, but I'm just really not in the mood. So I need to kind of like get in the mood. That's where I'm at the moment. Um, felt good, like I feel obviously bloated and stuff this morning, which is a regular, like when I have a large amount of food that my body is not used to, obviously my body's gonna be a bit inflamed, hold a little bit of water, and I'm going to be bloated. Today I've kind of had, I've only had two meals today and it's like three o'clock. I'm not hungry, cause I had a very large amount of food yesterday. In the past I would under eat and want to burn this food off, um, but now I'm like, I'm putting it to good use. It doesn't affect me whatsoever. Obviously I feel sluggish today because I had a large amount of food that my body is not used to and it's processed food. So I'm going to feel sluggish and I know that and I accept that. But in the past I know I'd get those feels where I would be like upset because I felt so like sluggish and I felt watery and bloated and all that type of thing and it would have take effect on my body but now it really doesn't affect me because I know the reasons if that makes sense um if it was an unknown reason and I didn't know why my body was like 
randomly becoming bloated and watery and all that type of thing, I would probably get more frustrated, but I know it is food that my body is not used to that I've now had. So little things like that I love accepting and knowing that I've kind of progressed mentally um, when it comes to food and stuff. I've never had issues with food, but obviously when you compete, you obviously restrict yourself from foods that you are allowed to eat. So when you do eat them, you sometimes do get that guilty feeling, um, especially as you're a beginner. So now I don't have that feeling. It's very nice to know that I don't. So anyway, I'm rambling. I need to go to the gym. I'm gonna go train legs right now. So to finish this video off, I thought I'd do a mini Q and A because I did a little question and answer box on my Instagram the other day and I did say if I didn't finish them all, I would answer the rest on my YouTube. So the first one is, do you do refeeds and what do they look like? So I'm actually doing a refeed day today. So it's like a few days now after my birthday um, and we've now circled back around to my refeed day. So at the moment we structure our refeeds by calories. We don't do like cheat meals or anything like that where they're just not structured. Adam likes to know how many calories I'm having each time so and making sure that they obviously are as structured as possible so he gives me a certain amount of calories to have on a certain training day so usually it's legs I typically choose legs he said you can obviously I can put the calories where I want them so I put them on leg days I have two 800 calorie refeed days I know a few people like to just say just have an off plan meal. Um, it just is one meal and you can just have whatever you want. Adam likes to structure the meal. So obviously he likes to know how many calories there are in the meal or that type of thing. So I make sure that they're still weighed out, still, I still know the calories um, of what I'm consuming and all that type of thing. I sometimes have like a cheat meal where it's just a larger meal that are foods that I usually don't usually have. Um, or sometimes the refeeds are literally just foods that I have in my meal plan already, but just more of it. So example, I'll have more potato and oats uh, and sometimes I'll have like pizza like I did for my birthday. And today I'm gonna have lasagna because I haven't lasagna in ages or pasta in so long. So I really want that. Obviously this is just our method of doing it. There are a few people that do do them where you just have a meal off and you don't count the calories or anything like that. Um, but Adam likes to be very, very detailed and structured. So he likes to know what we're eating and that type of thing. So he likes data. So I'm the same as well. I like to, see what goes on with my body. So I'm like, oh, I had 800 calories today and I dropped weight. That's really interesting, blah, blah, blah. So I like to know the data. Would love you to do a waist training video or post. So I am actually wanting to do a full on separate video about waist trainers because I, there is a lot of information about waist trainers that loads of people always ask me on, but I will show you the waist trainer that I use, um, which is Adam's Creation. So this is the waist trainer that I use on a daily basis. So it's a corset style waist trainer. So I think the Velcro waist trainers and like the elastic -y waist trainers really don't work in my opinion just because they lose their elasticity and they don't keep your core in tight the whole time whereas corset ones obviously the rope is going to be keeping you tight the whole time and for me I found it has worked so well I'll put a little transformation of what I used to look like before I started using the waist trainers and I'm actually heavier in the after photo if that makes sense of when I was on stage so obviously I know that sounded diet and training and stuff like that but the main thing that I changed was wearing a waist trainer and my waist literally you can see such a massive difference so that's why I really believe that they do work when I first started wearing them I really didn't believe that it would work as well as it has but it really has um, it's helped with my app development um, one thing I will say is don't let your stomach go when you're wearing waist trainers and stuff because a lot of people always say like, oh, waist trainers make your core lazy. The whole point of a waist trainer isn't just to let the waist trainer do the work, it's to make sure that your core is tight so you keep it tight the whole time. That's what I've really had to learn myself to do. So I have really like trained that really well, but I really have seen a massive difference in that. But I will be doing a full on video of that in a separate video. I'm 18 and I've had a dream of competing for two years now. Any tips? I still haven't got as much money. So. I will not lie, competing is expensive. So like, if you are wanting to compete and you obviously don't have the money to do it now, I would say save, wait until you are ready to financially commit because it would really suck if you were halfway through prep and you were like, I really can't do this anymore because I'm financially unstable to do it. So I need to stop halfway through the prep and you would make yourself feel even worse. So I generally would save. There are little things you could do to kind of help save in terms of like the preparation and stuff. Food and stuff, I generally 
I think saves itself. If you buy in bulk, like your meats and stuff like that, you can save quite a large amount of money. Um, gym memberships, try and obviously make sure you find a cheaper gym that has like a good amount of equipment that you need. For bikinis and stuff, there's loads of websites that you can actually buy like secondhand bikinis off now. Um, same with heels, you can buy secondhand things. It doesn't have to be like full price because bikinis are expensive, like when you buy them brand new. And you can do your tan, your makeup, your hair yourself. Um, so you don't have to spend like hundreds of pounds on four show day you can do it yourself and for the first I think like three years of my competing journey I actually did my own town myself so it's not a case of you can't do things to save um, it's just knowing what you need to do to save so those are a few little things that could help you out financially what are you doing for your daily steps and do you take a day off from hitting your goal steps so I always, at the moment, obviously because we are in quarantine and I'm moving way less than what I usually would, Adam set me a target to kind of hit 10,000 to 12,000 steps a day. 10,000 steps is like my rest days usually and I try and hit near the 12,000 step mark on my training days. I would usually hit around 10,000 steps in the week and then I would hit like 15, sometimes even 20,000 steps at the weekend because I've got so many posing clients and I'm usually traveling. So that's why my daily step intake is like a little bit higher usually now, um, just so we can make sure that we can still hit those daily activity targets and I'm not like backtracking if that makes sense because that's one thing that I, we did realize when um, we went into lockdown was that we didn't take into account my steps as much. So we ramped them up a little bit more so we could obviously make sure that we're progressing and all that type of thing. Are you still planning on competing in America? Everything with COVID going on, will you be able to get there? I generally don't know if I'm gonna to be totally honest. I would love to go over to America and that be one of my first shows. The pro show that I actually won is in July. So I would love to go back and do that show and hopefully win that again. But I generally don't know what the travel's gonna be like at the moment. Currently, it is like almost May time and the travel ban still hasn't been lifted. So I am unsure if I'm honest, but there is luckily this year, hopefully if it still goes ahead again, um, a bikini pro show in London, the UK. So I, worst comes to worst, and I can't do any shows in America because I can't get there. I will be doing that show for sure if it still goes ahead. So like, I would love for my friends, my family to go there, but obviously with all the social distancing stuff going on, I don't know if there'll be an audience. So fingers crossed, either way, I think possibly my first show will most likely be the Two Bros Pro Show in the UK. I see many bikini pros with implants. Is it necessary for this division? No, it's not. I do not have implants. Everyone always asks if I have implants. I luckily don't lose my boobs when I diet down, so which is quite helpful, but I also, my bikini is stuffed with teddy bear stuffing. So it creates kind of a little bit more um, breast up top instead of it being like completely flat. You do not need implants to do the bikini division. A lot of people are self-conscious because they train so much, they do lose their boobs. Because obviously breast tissue is fat and obviously you can't control where you lose your fat from. So sometimes people will lose their breasts and they don't feel confident about it. So that's why they get implants. Um, I would never ever say get implants or anything like that because of competing. If you've always wanted implants and you feel like that will make you feel com more confident, then fair enough, but don't get them because you feel like it will help you in the division. It will not help you in the division whatsoever. And that is a few questions I kind of wanted to do, otherwise this video is gonna go on so long. So I hope you like this video. I'm just trying to do more vlog style videos because I know a lot of you have been like, I like just seeing you, like what you're like in isolation and stuff, which is great. So I'm just gonna keep doing those. But if you have any video suggestions or anything you want, me to do like if you want me to do any home workouts or anything like that please comment down below any sort of video I don't know what types of videos you want but anything you would want me to do um, I will try and do that as best I can because I want to help you guys as much as I can during this time please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps support my channel and yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you soon